Welcome to Dude RV. Hey, I think it's time for us to go do some tent camping Oklahoma style. Right there, Oklahoma. We have arrived, Lake Texoma. We are at campground I've heard a lot of great things about. We're on the Oklahoma side of Lake Texoma. The lake is very, very low. This is site, site number E18, West Burns Run. It's a Corps of Engineer campground. Now we've been to East Burns Run, which is on the other side, a little channel that we'll be hopefully get able to see. I heard a lot of great things about West Burns Run and driving in here, I, I can see why people say a lot of great things about it. Water access seems to might be be a bit of a challenge but we'll, we'll we'll check it out we'll we'll find some stuff to see but right now we need to do a site review so you'll notice i did not bring trudy thunder the the price of diesel is still exorbitant and we're only here for one night so i'm gonna be throwing up a, a tent <laughs> tossing up a tent but we can talk about the site as if trudy was here you'll notice it leans real dramatically to the power pedestal side. The water is right here. So you're gonna wanna, if you come out here in an RV, you're gonna wanna block that up. Plenty of clearance for a big motor home to get in here, but it's gonna, it's gonna slope to the, to the front and down. Bring some blocks. We're 30 amp in the pedestal. Concrete picnic table for your dining pleasure. We have a fire ring, and of course we have the little table for your camp stove. But best of all, look at the view. How incredible is this? That's a long way down to the water though. All right, I'm gonna, I'm gonna have a bite, a bit of lunch, and then we'll deploy a little red and we'll go see some stuff. I'm trying to figure out where to go camping, especially in, in Texas and Southeast Oklahoma, and you're, you're not sure exactly where you wanna go, I've got, I've got you covered. So in the description down below, you'll find a link. I have created a Google map for you showing you all of the public campgrounds that I have visited, which is almost all of them in the state of Texas, it's a Google map. So if you click on one of the little balloons for the location, that will open up the videos that I have created for each individual location. And that'll be all the videos I've created at that location. The experiential video, which is what this is, the scooter tour, as well as any trail rides that I have done. So I strongly encourage you to pay a visit to that site. It's, I made that for you. And if, if you can't get into one of those destinations because it's full, well, there's also a link in the description below for Camp Nab. And Camp Nab specializes in helping you get into campsites that are booked solid. It's a, all it is is an algorithm that scans repeatedly scans recreation.gov and your your state website and it looks for cancellations in the parameters that you've set uh, it's a fantastic tool if, if you wouldn't be able to get into this campground on the weekend without a tool like camp nap otherwise you're sitting there just refresh 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 hoping that somebody's canceled and you catch it at the right time 
the Camp Nab algorithm takes care of that for you. So West Burns Run actually has a really cool group loop. That's right. I said group loop, not to be mistaken with fruit loop. A big group pavilion that is covered and features a fantastic echo. The big charcoal grill for cooking up a bunch of burgers. There's actually two power pedestals on either side. Of course, they are locked up. But the camping loop is fantastic. So if you have a, a group, an RV group, or, or just a bunch of people with RVs that want to hang out, wouldn't that be an RV group? <laughs> so got a bunch of people that want to go camping together. This group loop. See, I did. I said it again. Group loop. Looks like they're all 30 amp and water. But it's, this is the, one of the nicest group camping loops that I have seen. So my boat ramp fans will be happy to know Burns Run West, West Burns Run, actually has a two-laner boat ramp. And it opens up onto the lake proper. So on days like today, it's gonna be a bumpy ride. Let's go see some more stuff. If you're planning a trip to West Burns Run and you need full connections, you'll be happy to know they have got you covered. This is, this is actually a handicapped site. 50 amp water and sewer. Wheelchair accessible table. Big fire pit. Yeah, this is, this is really nice. And they got a, a lot of these pull through sites. Make sure you watch the scooter tour, the virtual tour, this coming Wednesday. It's a beautiful campground. All right, let's go see some more stuff. One thing West Burns Runs, West Burns Run campground has a lot of is Sandy Beach. A lot of sandy shoreline. Now, I am at a primitive campsite. I haven't seen a whole lot of primitive campsites yet. This one looks like it will accommodate a big RV. And there's plenty of grass for a tent. All right, let's go find some more stuff. West Burns Run actually has two group pavilions. This one is in the day use area. Well, there's not any electrical hookups, but it is ADA accessible thanks to the cool bridge. And you certainly don't need to worry about bringing a fan, at least not, not on days like today. All right, let's go see some more stuff. Burns Run West would be a great place for a birthday party. Uh, look at this play structure. It's, it's shaded. It's, I think, intended to be wheelchair accessible, but there is a lip there. And the playground structure itself is, is not really handicap friendly. There's another covered group pavilion over there. Look at this pretty little day use area. Man, it'd be a great place to hang out and have a picnic. Oh, you want to kick a soccer ball? There's actually a place to play soccer so if you want to do some swimming at west burns run they do have a designated swimming area i will not call this a beach uh, over there you might call you could get away with calling that a beach but right here no the water level is extremely low right now but if it was where it should normally be it would come in Right about there. 
which would make that a pretty deep swim area. I guess the littles could play over there. Let's go find some more stuff. So on this two-day excursion to Texoma, I'm traveling with, with two different tents that I'm reviewing. Uh, my plan has changed. I originally was going to set this one up tonight and sleep with just the mesh. But with the wind blowing, I don't think I could I can get that one set up by myself. Uh, so I'm going to set up the big boy. Actually, it's not any bigger. It just weighs more. It's a canvas tent. Hold on. This is the two mount. This will be a, a front. These will be on Friday's finds. Not sure when in relation to this video, but you'll see both of these uh, on a Friday's find video. But I'm going to go ahead and, and set up the the bell tent over there. And hopefully I'll be able to get it on video. But as you can see, <laughs> with what the wind is doing, as strong as this wind is, it may be a fool's errand putting up this tent. But it shouldn't take me too long if I do it right. Alright, so I'm going to get to it. white caps I got the I got the tent pitched and as you saw in the video it it actually wasn't too simple once I got it with the door pointed into the wind and I did that so I could have a view but you know this tent is fantastic I mean, it unlike your canvas tents that pop in the wind this one's this one's rock solid. We got the Alpcore cot, sleeping bag, and a mattress topper. That's all my dry good foods. Now I had to bring in break out the battery packs. Fortunately, I brought both battery packs because I, I failed to bring my third. I usually. I usually have three extension cords 
and the best place to pitch the tent was over there and I only have enough cord to, to reach to right here. I'm a little bit shy on cords, but that's all right. I brought both battery packs. And I've been powering the AC with this one, so I gotta charge it back up. But that amp road, that'll get me through the night with the CPAP machine. And the the other one, the new one, I, have, I haven't done a review on that one. Uh, I'm gonna use that for powering the, the laptop when I get ready to do some editing. Maybe in a little bit, because it's just so windy. Holy smokes! <laughs> I can't believe this wind! I bet it's a, it's a good steady 20 mile an hour wind at least, maybe 30. Thought I'd walk down here and at least get close to the water. you like to be boating that boating today got a bug go down my throat I'm sure glad I have these click chairs the only place that I can either go in the tent or I can sit here out of the wind <laughs> just so I'm sitting here out of the wind and I'm looking up And, uh, that's a dead tree. Fortunately, the wind is blowing that away. But there's another dead tree right there. And that's right over my neighbor's car. And the wind is blowing it that away. They're not there. Well, there are two restroom and shower facilities here at West Burns Run. The newer one is over by the pull-through. So that's the big pull-through area. Full connection. And there are individual showers here. This is the newer one. Now the, the other one, well, heck, well, let's go see it. it it's not as new shower facilities that are closer to me are the older ones and yeah, they're they're private they're you know they got partitions but they can use a little freshening up so now you know the better showers are up up that way i am not a happy camper so the tulsa district of the u.s army corps of engineers uh obviously has not uh, been briefed by the lawyers the legal team on the americans with disabilities act and they are requiring uh, now this is from the park ranger who I've just had a conversation with after a park, a, a campground host uh, informed me that operating my scooter was illegal and I couldn't do it. And I quoted the, U, the, the, the ADA, Americans with Disability Act. And he said, well, you're gonna talk to the ranger about that. And then he sent the ranger to talk to me, but actually I didn't wait. I went and found the ranger. And he told me the same thing, that I could not operate my mobility scooter in this U.S. Army Corps of Engineers public campground. And, 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 and if I wanted to operate it, I had to have a special permit. Yeah, that, 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 that makes me very, very angry. 
So I'll be I'll be having a conversation with his boss tomorrow. Of course, he the ranger wouldn't give, didn't want to give me his name, but he gave me his boss's. He threw his boss under the bus. So I guess his boss is going to get sued. So we'll see tomorrow. Enough of, enough of that. I gotta put my ball cap back on. The sun is bright. There is one definite plus for, for this campsite, and that is epic, epic sunsets. Man, it's gonna be a good one. The wind is finally starting to die down some. Thank goodness for that, because it was so bad. Pretty much all I did for the last three hours of the day was sit in the tent. I'll check back in tomorrow. become a fan of this Death Wish coffee. This is the world's strongest coffee. I, I, I don't know about that, but it's a good cup of coffee. That is for sure. This was a Christmas gift from my daughter. I really like doing the pour over when I'm solo camping. Put a couple tablespoons of grounds in the in the pour over we want to let it wake up the bloom as it's called there we go you know the bloom is done and the coffee kind of looks compacted Too bad we don't have smell of vision. Good morning. Mm, I have some good coffee.
it's strong. <laughs> they weren't kidding when it's the world. They said it's the world. I don't know if it's the world's strongest coffee. It's strong though. I like it. Push hair on your chest. And I don't have any hair on my chest, so I need some. Burn, West Burns Run. No, no sunrise this morning. Too much cloud cover. Gonna be another windy day too. I'm still really irritated about the the restrictions on mobility scooters here at West Burns Run. I won't be able to start making calls on that until about eight. And I gotta pack up, move on to the next campsite. So it probably will be closer to noon before I dig into that. So you're not gonna get the final outcome on this video, but I, I, I promise I will update you when I, when I have more info. I was gonna say resolution. I don't know if I'm gonna get any resolution, but I'm definitely, I'm not gonna let it go. There is no reason people with mobility scooters have to conform to rules that cyclists don't have to. You know, how can they justify requiring me to have a special permit when bicycles don't have to have a special permit? That's what I'm trying to say. If it wasn't for that, West Burns Run would be would be up there in that top 10 Corps of Engineer campgrounds that I have been to. This is a beautiful, beautiful campground. There's so many beautiful campgrounds though. <laughs> How to choose just one? That's why I don't do top 10, that's why I don't do too many best lists. Because they, every park has got, well, most every park has got something going for it. There are some like, damn sight Texas here on Texoma that I wouldn't recommend. But that's in a small minority. We're done here. It's time to pack up and head south. So next week, you're going to want to make sure you join me. We're going to visit the last Corps of Engineer campground for me to visit on Texoma Lake. We're gonna be on the Texas side next week. So we're done here. I gotta get loaded up, head south to the next campground. I gotta get back to Texas. If you found this to be entertaining, fun, educational, if you gain any benefit from it, I sure appreciate you giving me a thumbs up and sharing me on your social media platform. That really, really helps me with the YouTube algorithm. And if you've not already, I'd be most honored if you'd consider clicking on that subscribe button that also helps with the YouTube algorithm. And if you've already subscribed, thank you. That's why I'm here. <laughs> that's, that's why I'm ex that's, that's why I do what I do. And for my patrons, thank you so very much. I'm most appreciative. You rock. All right, y'all come back now, you hear?